click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Today we will be discussing one cost sheet sum where we are required to see the changes in fixed overheads and variable overheads during current and estimated period. KT Manufacturing Company gives you the following particulars for the year 2002. Production and sales during the year was 10,000 units. Material, direct material 2,50,000. Direct wages that is direct labor 1,50,000. Administration overheads fixed 1 lakh. Sales profit factory overheads fixed 1 lakh variable 2 lakhs selling and distribution overheads fixed 60,000 variable 90,000 the company has worked to its maximum capacity of 10,000 units so current year production is 10,000 units that is the maximum capacity the management has decided to increase the production capacity to 15,000 units so this is the revised capacity 15,000 units for the year 2003 and it is estimated that there will be all round rise in all variable expenses expenditure by 10% there will be increase of 20% in all fixed overheads. There will be no need to change the selling price. It means selling price will remain same in the year 2003. Prepare a statement showing total as well as unit cost and profit for 2002. Also prepare statement showing estimated profit for 2003 taking into consideration the changes in 2003. So here we are required to first prepare cost sheet for the year 2002. Let us first understand what is the difference between fixed overheads and variable overheads. Overheads means expenses. As you continue with production as you undertake production you are required to incur expenses that we call as what overheads we call as that expenses as our production rises these expenses are need to rise or they will rise but if you see their nature character of the expenses are such that there are certain expenses which are periodical expenses that means those are linked to a period like month for example, office rent we are paying every month. This rent rupees say suppose 10,000. It has to be paid every month irrespective of the output. If you take zero output, still you will have to pay office rent. As you will increase production, office rent will not increase. It will remain same. That is called as what? Fixed cost. That is fixed for a particular period. Now what is variable overheads? As you decide to produce, variable overheads comes into picture. For example, material. If we don't produce, will not require material at all. So it is a material is a variable expense. If you produce more, you will require more material. Variable expenses will increase. Therefore, material is a variable expense. If you reduce production, less material will be required so variable expenses will be less so material is a variable expense whereas fixed expense means like a rent or a depreciation we can have so in this question we have both the types of overheads let us see how to calculate estimated values for the next year based on the current year direct material is 2,50,000 and during the year there is production of 10,000 units so we can calculate per unit so it will be rupees 25 per unit
direct wages amount is given 1 lakh 50 thousand divided by 10 thousand units it will be 15 rupees direct wages 1 lakh 50 thousand was given administration overheads they are totally fixed 1 lakh that is the next item we have so there is no direct expense so we can add these values to arrive at prime cost To this prime cost, we are required to add factory overheads. Factory overheads here they are given two types fixed 1 lakh, variable 2 lakh. Per unit factory overheads will be 30 rupees. If we add to prime cost per unit, factory cost we get 70 rupees. Factory cost or works cost, we got amount 7 lakh rupees. To this we are going to add office and administration overheads. Office overheads they are given totally fixed amount is rupees 1 lakh. Office overhead 1 lakh divided by 10,000 units per unit it will be 10 rupees. Works cost 7 lakh, office overhead 1 lakh, 8 lakh will be cost of production. In this question, they have not given opening and closing stock of finished goods. So cost of production itself will be cost of goods sold. To cost of goods sold, we are going to add selling overheads. Selling and distribution overheads fixed 60,000 and variable 90,000. Total selling overheads 1,50,000 divided by 10,000 units. So per unit it will be 15 rupees. It will be added to cost of production. Cost of production is rupees 8 lakhs. So total cost or cost of sales is 9,50,000 and per unit total cost is rupees 95. They have given the amount of sales 12 lakh and amount of net profit 2,50,000. Profit is given in the question 2,50,000. It is added to total cost. We got sales 12 lakh. That is also given in the question. 2,50,000 divided by 10,000. We can arrive at per unit profit. So per unit profit is rupees 25. And selling price is 120. In question, they have made some estimation and they are asking us to prepare estimated cost sheet for the next period. They say that there will be increase in production capacity to 15,000 units in the next year. So during 2003, units produced and sold will be 15,000 units. 
there will be all round rise in all variable expenses by 10%. All variable expenses will be up by 10%. We can start with direct material. In 2002, direct material, which is a variable expense, per unit it is 25. So in 2003, 10% will be added. So it will be estimated 27 rupees 50 paise. In 2002, direct wages per unit was 15 rupees. 10% will be added. So it will be 16 rupees 50 paise. In factory overheads, we have variable factory overheads, rupees 2 lakhs. Variable factory overheads per unit will have to calculate. During 2002, there were fixed overheads, rupees 1 lakh and variable overheads were 2 lakhs. So there will be change in these variable expenses which is 2 lakh rupees previous year when output was 10,000 units. So it will be 20 rupees per unit. It will increase by 10%. It will be 22 rupees. Next we have office overheads which is totally fixed. Selling and distribution over its variable portion is rupees 90,000. Variable selling over its per unit will have to calculate 90,000 divided by 10,000 units. It is 9 rupees per unit. We'll have to add 10 percent, 9 rupees plus 90 paise, so it will be per unit will be 9 rupees 90 paise. So thereby we have considered all variable expenses for working note. Now we are required to think for fixed expenses. There will be increase of 20 percent in all fixed overheads. Factory overheads which are fixed, rupees 1 lakh. There will be increase of 20%. So it will be 1 lakh 20,000. Office overheads, it is rupees 1 lakh totally fixed. We have to add 20%. It will be same 1,20,000. In case of selling, fixed overheads are 60,000. plus 20%. So it will be 72,000. So we have calculated estimated fixed cost as well as variable cost per unit for estimated period. Now we can complete cost sheet for the next year. Next year output is 15,000 units. Direct material, direct material per unit next year is 27 rupees 50 paise. It will be recorded in per unit column. This is per unit, we can get total. It comes to 4,12,500. 
Next direct wages. Direct wages per unit we have 16 rupees 50 paise. It is recorded in per unit column. We can get total 2,47,500. We can get prime cost. Next we have factory overheads, variable factory overheads per unit we have 22 rupees, 22 multiplied by 15,000 it will be 3,30,000. So variable factory overheads are 3,30,000, fixed factory overheads revised is 1,20,000. So we will add these two. Variable 330, fix 120, so it will be total 4,50,000. So factory overheads per unit 30 rupees. Works cost we got 74 rupees, that is 11,10,000. Next, office overheads. Estimated office overheads are one lakh twenty thousand. Office overheads per unit eight rupees. Cost of production per unit eighty two and total cost of production twelve lakh thirty thousand. To this we are required to add selling and distribution overheads. Variable selling overheads are 9 rupees 90 paise multiplied by 15,000 units sold. So it will be 148,500. To this we will add fixed overheads 72,000. So total selling overheads are 2,20,500. Per unit will be 14 rupees 70 paise. Now we can arrive at total cost. Total cost per unit 96 rupees 70 paise. <coughs> total amount is 14,50,500. There will be no need to change the selling price for the year 2003. That means it will remain same as of 2002. In 2002, our selling price 120. It is same in the next year, rupees 120 multiplied by 15,000 units to arrive at total sales 18 lakhs. Now we can find out the profit. Profit will be 3,49,500 and per unit profit will be 23 rupees 30 paise. In this question we have learned how to adjust variable cost and fixed cost for estimated period. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.